Hello Grebos and welcome back to downloadable content. For today's video, we're gonna be taking a, once again a look at installing mods from Blade and Sorcery in Oculus and Steam for the latest U9 update. So let's dive right in. Let's first start with installing mods for Oculus. If we wanna install mods for Oculus, we wanna make sure we go to our file folder and we're gonna go ahead and click on OS. Now, if you have multiple drives installed like a D drive, a C drive, you wanna make sure you know where your game is stored. For me, I have my one drive and I know exactly where my games go. So now that I've clicked on OS, I'm gonna locate program files and double click. And then I'm gonna locate my Oculus folder. I scroll down, select Oculus, double click. And inside here, I'll find another folder that says software. I'll double click that. Now that I'm inside the software folder, I'll find three more folders and I'll double click where it says software. Now, this is where I'm gonna pause for a moment and let you know that I don't own the game on Oculus, I own it on Steam. So, this is exactly where you would find where it would say Blade and Sorcery. So let's move on to Steam and it's gonna be the exact same process to install it. Let's say you have the game on Steam, like I do. I'm gonna right click on Blade and Sorcery and click on Properties. I'm then gonna click on Local Files and Browse for Local Files. Now I'll see my crazy looking information here. So I'll double click on the Blade and Sorcery data folder. And you'll see a bunch of new things that just open. We wanna open the streaming assets folder. So we double click on that. And now we will have four new folders. So if we were a betting person, we would probably say that our mods go in the mod folder. So let's go ahead and open up this mod folder. And you will now see where I have installed all of my current mods. But let's say that you want to download a mod and you're getting confused. So let's install a mod. But before we move forward, I'm going to recommend that you install the program either WinRAR or 7-Zip. The reason why I say to install either one of these free programs is because they are great for unpacking mods. For myself, I use WinRAR, nice and simple. So I went ahead and downloaded that. So once I have WinRAR installed, all I'm going to do is go to the Nexus mod page. And now that I'm logged in, I'm gonna click on manual download. Do not use Vortex with VR games. We're gonna go manual and click manual. It says that the file is a zip file, which is why I downloaded and use WinRAR. So now I'll go to the free area and click on slow download. And now that the file has downloaded, you'll see in the bottom left here that this is a crazy looking file. That is a WinRAR file by default. So I'm gonna open the file itself and you'll see that it automatically unzipped the file for me. This is the file that I'm going to place inside the mods folder, not the first one I downloaded. So we're not putting this crazy looking zip file in there, we're opening the zip file and placing this folder in there. So what you do is go back to your mod folder, go to the folder you just downloaded, and we're going to just drag and drop it into a blank space there, and it's gonna let me know that it is installed. And there we see Time Lord. And there we go, my friends. That is still how you install mods for the latest update of Blade and Sorcery, which is U9. So make sure you are on U9. If you are on Oculus, you would scroll down in the Oculus store and you'll see the ver version itself will say U9 Live. If you're in Steam, all you have to do is just make sure it just says Blade and Sorcery. So when you right click on it and go to Properties, you'll go into Betas and you select Beta None. And that will let you know that you're on the current live version. Download only U9 mods and those would guarantee to work. Once again, if you're still having trouble with your mods, join the Discord, the link is in the description. We have a whole section of where we can help you out for our modding help. And we also have a huge section that gets updated all the time that shows you all compatible mods with U9 moving forward. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that these tutorials are great updates and good refreshes to keep you rocking and rolling with your mods. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Go ahead and hit that like button, do all that YouTube stuff. I'm Rob from Downloadable Content, and I will see you in the next video.